So I'm having a chat. Beach right, how are you guys? I'm great. You were waiting for the mic to be had to be pointed <laughs> at you then. Really good, thank you. Good. Uh, here at 2000 Trees, how's, uh, how's your day been? How was your set? It was really fun. Um, it was great to play, so to share that stage with friends of ours. So yeah. uh, Gaffer just played after us and yeah, it was just a really fun day so far. Yeah, it's been great. good. And uh, you've been busy releasing a couple of singles. Tell Me I'm Wrong is your, list, is your most recent one. Tell us a bit about that one, first of all. Uh, it's what it's actually I think it's a really good festival song so mm -hmm. I was really really excited to play that today because it just feels like it works on that kind of big it's got like a big R moment in it <laughs> so I was very excited and it was really fun yeah good and uh, now with a couple of singles though since your debut record is this now building up towards the next release oh, I would love that absolutely <coughs> we've played a few songs today that we'd love to record and release uh -huh. so can't wait for that. <laughs> yeah. Luckily, the guy who produced our lot, the last two songs, was was here today watching. He's never seen us live before, so I'm hoping that in his head he's like, "I really need to do more with that band," and therefore, yes. Yeah. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna say, yeah, right now, yes, more yeah. coming. Good. And uh, <coughs> now moving on towards future music, are you taking a, a departure from your debut? Are you developing it? kind of slightly different is it going to be similar to your debut record how is it how is it going to sound do you think at the moment i think it is going to move like the, like the last two singles i think have definitely gone a little bit less diy and a little bit less garage you know rocky and and, and more honed and more i think we found a bit more where we're at with like the three of us and, and our own space yeah in, in the songs maybe. and the sound as well we recreated that sound quite a lot uh, throughout the year so definitely that's a big change, yeah. yeah. Good, and hopefully you get to play these tracks some more because you're out on tour later this year with Itchy. Tell us a bit about where people can see you. So we're going to do... We've just got a, a, a little mini sort of taster in England. So we're going to do Bristol and we're going to play in Brighton and London and, and, and Portsmouth. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to go off to Europe and do some shows in Europe, which we I think we're doing quite a bit in like Germany and Switzerland and France and Holland. So that would be absolutely amazing yeah good stuff and uh, when it comes to writing I like talking about the writing side of things so how do tracks normally start off is it a lyric is it a melody is it a riff how do tracks tend to start so normally do I do a bullshit answer or do I do a real answer let's do a real answer do both okay cool <laughs> bullshit answer normally there's like a there's like a you know like a bat symbol in the sky but it's like Cammy and Johnny just project into the sky you haven't written a song in ages you need to get on it and then I see that symbol and then I just go home and go got to write a song there's that method <laughs> or failing that I just pick up the guitar <laughs> or the bass and it either comes out or it doesn't come out if I have to like work at it it never really comes out and then if it comes out really fast they're normally quite good and then that'll be like okay let's do a serious answer. If it comes out quite quick for me, they're normally a good a good basis, and then I'll send that around to the guys, and they'll either like it or not like it. And hopefully, if they like it, we'll then get together and like Cammy will write like parts for her, and Johnny will do bits, and it just all kind of like I would say they normally come together quite quickly mm -hmm. if they're good. Is that a fair one? Rory normally writes the best songs when he's angry, <laughs> when I when I piss him off. <laughs> yeah. That is, to be fair, yeah. <laughs> when it's like, oh, you didn't like, or oh, oh, I'll write a song and I'll really love it, and then I'll send it around and I'll get like a lukewarm response, and I'll be like, well, screw you guys, have this, and then I'll write something else, almost in anger that they didn't like the first one, and then it turns out they were right all along, and the first one was crap, and this new one's better. There you go. So our method basically is to piss Rory off. <laughs> and once you've got your demos sorted and you step foot into the studio, how do you then work it from that demo to a finished track? Hmm. We're not, I would say so far, we're not actually a band who would like get together and chip away and chip away and chip away and, you know, and cry. And, and we're not like a, we're, we've never really been a write a song in a room together from the start kind of band because they would always come out jam. Maybe one song in a sound check, we once just randomly did a thing. But generally speaking, we don't really do that. It would be more that separately we would all, you know, I would have the start of a song and then separately we'd all go away and, and do, you know, Cammy will come up with some amazing stuff and Johnny will do his like drum stuff yeah. and then we'll get together and just hash it out. But even that point in the room when we start doing it, it's already quite far down the line, I think. Yeah. I think I work better sometimes when just being at home, writing something, going back to you and just blending it together. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. We definitely wouldn't just... Like, if we were, like, some massive band who went off and did a writing session, I don't know that we'd 
get any good stuff because it feels more forced. It has to be more natural for us. More of the good stuff from us came from live, actually. Just yeah. just jamming live, maybe. Yeah. But yeah, yeah, exactly. Like, like it's kind of when we're not thinking about it. It might be more like literally in a sound check where it's like, oh, someone just makes some noise, okay, and I might just start doing something or cami might or jo or whatever, and then you're like, oh, actually, that's a really cool thing, yeah. rather than hey, let's sit down and write a song. Yeah. Yeah, good. And how do the lyrics? come about do they come naturally is it very straightforward or do you have to kind of work at them and make sure they mean something or <coughs> i don't write the lyrics but what i do do is i sing them wrong all the time because <laughs> english is not my first language and <laughs> and i just i just keep hearing things and then rory will find out that i've been singing the the song completely wrong for years and in the studio when cammy gets up to the microphone to sing her part <laughs> and i'm like what, say that again and she'll tell me the line and I'll be like that's not the line it is now <laughs> but, yeah but what, for me again it's, it's it's a similar thing I tend I, it tends to just come out quite far I don't, I'm not very much like I sit down and craft a thing there have been a few songs like that but generally it just will kind of fall out in like yeah. one sort of go and I think it's more like a feeling rather than like uh, like a poet if that makes sense it's more expressing a feeling yeah, do you have much input then on the on the lyrics and the sounds that, that you make? Or? I don't have any input on the lyrics. <laughs> My only input is changing them yeah. Yeah. wrong. <laughs> There's probably been uh, some times where you've sang a wrong thing and maybe I've been like, well, that kind of is better. <laughs> or, or, or the sound of the word is better and then we'll change the word to fit that. Mm -hmm. So yeah, you probably do without, you probably do have an input. We'll have to release a song in Spanish sometime oh, yeah. and, you know. And there, slowly, there it would be slowly easy. move into reggaeton. Oh no! <laughs> yeah. Good. Well, guys, it's been a pleasure having a chat with you. Thank you. Thank you, man. Thank you very much. Cheers. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you.